Now, in verse 7 it says, If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. So, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, a mansion, just tack on the name of Jesus and ta-da, there it is. Is that what Jesus is teaching? Is this the prosperity gospel? Well, while some people might try to make it that, what Jesus tells us again and again in different ways throughout the New Testament is that asking things in His name refers to asking in agreement with His heart. And when He gives you that new heart and that new identity, a new spirit that is bonded to His spirit, then you're going to desire certain things. You're going to want certain things. And when you want them, and they come from your new heart, and they're inspired by the Holy Spirit, then God will answer those prayers. What does that mean? Does that mean, again, that we just ask for anything materialistically and tack on three little words in Jesus' name? Remember what Paul prayed. These are just examples, but remember, he prayed for the Ephesians that they would see how wide and deep and high and long is the love of Christ, how ginormous is the great love of God. That's one example of what might be on our hearts to pray for or ask for. So you didn't see the disciples misunderstanding this, did you? Do you ever see Paul, Peter, James, John, any of the writers of the New Testament misunderstanding this and engaging in a name it, claim it, gab it and grab it, tack on the name of Jesus to get a bunch of stuff? Quite to the contrary, what we see are these apostles who suffered and died. They were tortured and killed. Sometimes they had nothing. Paul said he had learned what it meant to be having little or having plenty, the secret of contentment in all of his circumstances. So clearly, this passage is not a get-rich-quick scheme, and it's not about tacking on the name of Jesus to get whatever the world might want. It has to do with what God wants for us and what we really want as new creations in Christ.